Jane Wyman, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an enduring impact on the film industry. When reflecting on her extensive career, one might wonder about a personal connection, a moment where her work resonated or influenced one's life. Alternatively, among her numerous achievements, one might ponder which particular project stands out as the defining hallmark of her career. As we delve into Jane Wyman's classic Hollywood legacy, we invite you to share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this seasoned actor. Have you ever been inspired by her, or do you believe there's one role that encapsulates her career? Drop your stories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unveil some surprising, amusing, and poignant facts about this iconic Hollywood personality. Funny, shocking, and sad, there's more to discover. Keep watching. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And now, let's explore the intriguing facts about Jane Wyman's journey in the world of cinema. In the realm of classic Hollywood, Jane Wyman stands out as a noteworthy actress whose contributions have left an enduring mark. Born on January 5, 1917, in St. Joseph, Missouri, her journey into the world of acting began in the 1930s. Wyman's talent and dedication quickly propelled her to prominence, marking her as a celebrated figure in the entertainment industry. Her significance lies not only in captivating on-screen performances, but also in the ability to adapt to different genres. From early days in light comedies to later, more dramatic roles, she showcased a versatility that set her apart. Notably, the portrayal of Belinda MacDonald in the 1948 film Johnny Belinda earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress, solidifying her place in cinematic history. Beyond her acting prowess, her impact extends to the role as a trailblazer for women in Hollywood. During an era when the industry was predominantly male-dominated, she demonstrated that female actors could excel in diverse roles and genres, challenging societal expectations. Her career spanned several decades, leaving an indelible mark on the history of American cinema. The ability to bring depth and authenticity to characters, coupled with a strong work ethic, made her a respected figure in the entertainment landscape. Whether in romantic dramas, musicals, or intense character studies, she consistently delivered performances that resonated with audiences. In conclusion, Jane Wyman's career is a testament to talent, adaptability, and the enduring impact on the world of film. Celebrating her achievements not only honors her legacy, but also recognizes the pivotal role played in shaping the landscape of Hollywood. An accomplished actress, Wyman faced challenging personal relationships throughout her life. One notable struggle was her marriage to Ronald Reagan, the 40th President of the United States. Their union, which began in 1940, encountered difficulties, leading to a divorce in 1948. This chapter in her life shed light on the complexities that can arise even in high-profile relationships. Despite achieving success in her career, she also faced personal hardships. Her second marriage in the 1950s also ended in divorce. These experiences underscored the intricate nature of personal relationships transcending fame and success. Her journey mirrored the struggles many individuals face in navigating the intricate dynamics of marriage and partnerships. Public scrutiny surrounding her personal life added an extra layer of complexity to her challenges. Beyond her marriages, she encountered other personal struggles, including health issues and the loss of loved ones. These adversities, though not uncommon, highlighted the resilience required to navigate life's hardships. In the realm of acting, her career showcased versatility with notable roles in film and television. However, her personal life ran parallel to the characters she portrayed on screen, revealing the depth and humanity behind the actress. In conclusion, Wyman's life was marked by the intricacies of difficult personal relationships, offering a glimpse into the challenges that accompany fame and success. Her journey serves as a reminder that, despite external accomplishments, individuals grapple with universal struggles in their personal lives. Longtime friends Jane Wyman and Eve Arden shared the screen on Falcon Crest in 1981. Born on January 4, 1914, she stands out as one of the earliest actresses to portray herself as older in the industry. Her conversion to Roman Catholicism was a significant aspect of her life, and she regularly attended Mass with her close friend Loretta Young. A notable chapter in her personal life unfolded as she broke ties with Ronald Reagan due to her affection for Lou Ayers. 
However, this relationship faced its own challenges and ultimately did not endure. Her journey, marked by friendships, faith, and complicated romantic entanglements, paints a vivid picture of a woman navigating the complexities of personal relationships in the public eye. The intertwining threads of her professional and personal life reveal a nuanced individual whose experiences resonate with many. Renowned for her multifaceted career in the entertainment industry, Jane Wyman's journey is marked by intriguing connections and notable moments. Nicknamed Minnie Mouse by Jack Benny for her resemblance to the iconic Disney character, her unique persona captured the attention of both colleagues and audiences. In a twist of fate on the set of Jane Wyman presents the Fireside Theater in 1955, she encountered a young Lorenzo Lamas. Little did she know that decades later, he would secure a co-starring role opposite her in the long-running TV series Falcon Crest after persistent auditions. A testament to Lamas's determination and the lasting impact of her influence. Her early years at Warner Brothers brought her face to face with Ronald Reagan on the set of Brother Rat in 1938. Despite an age gap, they tied the knot in 1940 and remained married until their divorce in 1949. Despite the separation, Wyman maintained an amicable relationship with Reagan, even casting her vote for him in the 1980 and 1984 presidential elections within the Republican Party. These unique intersections in her life offer a glimpse into the dynamic relationships and influences that shaped her career. From Benny's playful nickname to Lamas's persistence and the enduring connection with Reagan, Jane Wyman's story is a fascinating exploration of the personal and professional intersections that define a Hollywood career. In 1948, Jane Wyman achieved a remarkable feat in Hollywood, winning the Best Actress Oscar for her role in Johnny Belinda. What sets her apart is not just this accolade, but the unique distinction of being the only wife of a future U.S. President, Ronald Reagan, to ever claim such an award. Her career took a defining turn with involvement in the long-running TV series Falcon Crest from 1981 to 1989. Displaying unwavering commitment, she appeared in nearly every episode during this period. Even against her doctor's advice, she returned for the final three shows of the series, totaling an impressive 208 appearances out of 227 episodes. However, in the last season, she missed 16 episodes, signaling a rare departure from consistent presence on the show. Despite maintaining a discreet silence about Ronald Reagan in interviews, her actions spoke volumes. She not only voted for him three times, but also attended his funeral, underscoring the complexity of their relationship. This silence in public discourse stands in contrast to her private support for Reagan, reflecting the nuanced nature of her personal and political affiliations. In essence, her journey unfolds as a captivating narrative of professional achievements, including the Oscar win and enduring commitment to Falcon Crest. Simultaneously, personal choices and political allegiances add layers to the story, revealing a woman who navigated the intricacies of fame and relationships with distinctive grace. This multifaceted tale offers a glimpse into the dynamic intersections that shaped her career and legacy, showcasing an individual whose impact resonates in the annals of Hollywood history. Interred as a third-degree nun, Jane Wyman's life took unexpected turns beyond her prolific acting career. In an interview with Michael Reagan on America Live in 2010, Imagine Kelly revealed this intriguing facet of her posthumous journey. Her cinematic legacy includes three Oscar Best Picture nominees The Lost Weekend, The Yearling, and Johnny Belinda. The Lost Weekend emerged victorious, marking a notable period in film history as these acclaimed movies were released consecutively from 1945 to 1947. A unique episode in Wyman's career unfolded when she stepped in for Gracie Allen on the Burns and Allen radio show due to Allen's migraine. This instance, the only time Allen missed their show, underscores Wyman's versatility beyond the silver screen. From breaking ties with Ronald Reagan to a Best Actress Oscar win and enduring commitment to Falcon Crest, her journey reveals a woman of diverse experiences. As we delve into these lesser-known aspects, her narrative takes on new dimensions, offering a closer look at the woman behind the roles she portrayed on screen. Ranked fourth in movie appearances, Jane Wyman carved her place in Hollywood history with over 80 films. One notable feat that distinguishes her is the record for the longest on-screen kiss, a whopping three minutes and five seconds with Regis Toomey in You're in the Army Now. This achievement speaks to her ability to make a lasting impact in cinematic moments. 
1949, she found herself in the company of fellow Warner Brothers contract actresses Julie London, Virginia Mayo, Eve Arden, and Lauren Buckhall. Standing out as the longest-running member of the group since the age of 19, she established enduring connections in the competitive world of Hollywood contracts. Beyond her prolific filmography, her influence reached beyond the silver screen. Her interactions with industry peers, from co-stars to fellow contract actresses, shaped her journey in the entertainment realm. From the iconic kiss with Toomey to the lasting connections forged at Warner Brothers, her story unfolds as a compelling narrative of resilience and longevity in the dynamic landscape of Hollywood. Notably, she stands alongside Hollywood legends like Mickey Rooney, Barbara Stanwyck, and Betty Davis in terms of movie appearances, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. The breadth of her career and the relationships she built showcase a woman whose impact went beyond individual roles, contributing to the rich tapestry of Hollywood's history. Amidst the intricate web of Hollywood connections, Wyman's life unfolds with surprising twists and enduring bonds. One notable connection ties her to Falcon Crest co-star Lorenzo Lamas, whose stepmother Esther Williams, a close friend of Wyman, married Fernando Lamas on New Year's Eve in 1969. The irony lies in the fact that they shared a long-standing acquaintance long before these familial ties. Equally compelling is her enduring friendship with Eddie Albert, dating back to 1938 and spanning decades until his unfortunate demise on Thursday, May 26, 2005. The depth of these connections transcends the glitz of Hollywood, revealing a person grounded in enduring relationships. Amidst an extensive filmography, one standout moment in Wyman's career was the challenging scene with Ray Millane in The Lost Weekend. This particular scene remains etched in memory as the most demanding of her career, showcasing the dedication and resilience brought to the craft. These personal and professional relationships, from the familial ties with Falcon Crest co-stars to the lifelong friendship with Eddie Albert and the cinematic challenges faced, paint a nuanced portrait. The story, marked by unexpected intersections and steadfast connections, adds layers to Hollywood legacy.